you all Shay and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. Yes, I did an all day wear test once again. So this is the packaging that it came in and as you can see it does just say uh, Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower and it's very cute design and on the side it has some nutrition facts and it says it's vegan which is awesome 100% vegan um, of course zero calories no gluten no parabens lightweight yes mattifying yes it was mattifying for a good bit so I thought this was kind of cute it really goes very well with the whole flower um, idea uh, that's really creative really cute of them one thing that I did notice with this product is that I started to feel like I was oily a little earlier than I did um, when I used the Laura Mercier. So if you go back, and I will also link this video, um, I did a test of the Laura Mercier. I pretty much used it all day um, and I didn't blot. I also used this one all day today. I have not blotted yet, but as you can see, it's pretty different. I used the same foundation that I used when I did the Laura Mercier test. I started to feel oily way earlier with this one in comparison to this one um i didn't really start to feel oily as if i needed to blot with this one until about six um but even then it still wasn't as bad but with this one i started to feel like i needed to blot at like 11 30. okay so it's now 11 43 and i don't i'm not quite oily so to speak but i can feel like it's kind of starting to want to peek its way through if that makes sense um right in like this area and on my forehead a little bit i feel a little kind of just shinier than usual and just for the sake of the video i have not done so but you can see my face looks like a greasy kind of i'm not gonna say greasy mess but um yeah it's not as far as keeping you looking, um, pardon me, I'm tired, uh, but as far as keeping your makeup looking, you know, uh, kind of more on the matte side, not getting as oily earlier, <clears throat> definitely recommend going ahead and get the Laura Mercier one if that is something you're looking for. As far as the color pigment, um, this one is a tad bit darker. And what I mean by that is it's actually pigmented. So it's translucent. Um, let me see. You know what? This one actually doesn't say that it's translucent setting powder. It just says that it's a flower setting powder. So that's probably my bad for thinking that it's going to be like a translucent shade. Because with the Laura Mercier one, it pretty much had a dark tint to it. But it wasn't necessarily changing of my color. So I'll go ahead and also insert a clip of um, when I first put this uh beauty bakery one on okay so the first thing that i do kind of want to show is that this one's color kind of picks up a little more it's a less translucent it's actually very pigmented um let me just see if i can i've put it on my face already but i'm just gonna see like you can see it a little more than with the Laura Mercier one because I feel like my face kind of has a brown or orange cast you can see that my face is different um it's a different color than my neck right now so let's just see if this kind of helps um yeah so as you can see my face right now just from using the powder it's darker than my neck which that didn't happen with the um laura mercier one so i want to say that that one is like a true translucent shade this one has a little more pigment um so we're gonna see how this looks underneath the foundation um but of course once i put my foundation on it fixed it um will i use it again um probably not this one luckily for me i went ahead and ordered the yellow as well um if anything i would probably pass this one up to my mom because she's a shade darker than me or so and i think that she would probably like this product um but again luckily for me i went ahead and i got the um the yellow one as well so i'm gonna go and use that one next and i want to um kind of test that and uh, compare that to some um, setting powder that I do have as well. Do I like the product? Yes. What would I rate it? I would probably give this a strong B just because I feel like had I used the Laura Mercier one second and used this one first, I probably would have had a different opinion on it because I wouldn't have had such high expectations. But the fact that I've, I look so oily and I know that I really didn't do um, anything differently 
from when I used the Laura Mercier one. It kind of confuses me a little bit. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not already done so, remember to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, feel free to leave me some comments and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.